Welcome to another review video by me and today we have an absolute smasher now do not take these headphones seriously because they don't take themselves seriously and that's part of the reason they are my new favorite headphones skull candy these are the uh, evo crushers i believe now these the, the whole slogan behind these is bass you can feel and that is not a joke that is not a joke in the slightest right immersive bass headphones right and it's just the same in some other language that i'm not capable of reading up to 40 hours battery life bluetooth wireless technology that is very true rapid charge 10 minutes right for three hours that is fucking awesome <laughs> 10 minutes for three hours Adjustable sensory base, right? And when they say adjustable, <laughs> when they say adjustable, imagine this, right? This is a mixing board. You know, you have been in a studio, you've got all these sliders and stuff, right? There is now one slider, right? And it is just for the low end. Just a slider for the low end, right? When you turn these on, it's about here, right? You've got here to here, it's about here, it's about middle, it's what you expect. You go bang, right? You are now in a concert hall with 36 subwoofers surrounding you in a cylindrical pattern. You will die in a bass cannon. That's what these are. And I'm dead serious. These are the most fun I've ever had in headphones. If you want to listen, this is what I've used them for, right? If you want to listen to hip hop, right, and just feel like you're at a concert or anything. I was listening to uh, uh, some uh, gigs the other day. I was listening to gigs and I was listening to Talking the Hardest, right? Which is grime, really, but... Fuck me. <laughs> the bass and that. Do, do, right? But that, that first bass note through these is like... <laughs> it's mental. It's so cool. Right, before we open these, right? Box experience, right? This is fantastic. I like this. They've got a really cool pattern here. I don't know if you can see it. With the Skull Candy logo, but if you get it in the right light, it's just grey. You'd have to pay attention to see that, which I did. That's awesome. The headphones wrap around the side of the box, right? You have the nice headphones on the front, all of the information you really need, everything relevant. Their logo on the side. This is awesome presentation. This is what drew me to these. All of the information you ever need. And some more pictures of your headphones is showing you they fold up. That's fucking awesome. And then some more information that actually doesn't mean too much. So Skull Candy Crushers, right? 34mm drivers. And then they have a massive, 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 right? Have you ever played with an Xbox or a PlayStation? You know the little rumble motors in them? When you're driving on GTA and you hit a wall, and go, right? To let you know you crashed. This has two of those in each speaker, or each size, so you have two of those in each one of these for bass and it is the coolest thing <laughs> I have ever experienced, it is so fucking sick and because they're quite slow at responding it really gives you that concert hall feel these are fucking awesome let's open them up right, bearing in mind these are skull candy which a couple years back you wouldn't touch with a barge pole stick right now these are good, all of a sudden. I like these more than I like anything by Beats, and Beats used to be, well, they, they was always shit, but they're shitter now. <laughs> to get something good by Beats, you need to pay up, upwards of like 700 quid, where you can just pay 100 quid for a good pair of headphones and get the same. It's just fucked. These cost me £53 on offer, right? And I got them at game. £53 an offer at game, and I was there buying things. I was actually buying some v video games for my console. We will talk about that later. Horizon 5 incoming. I was also getting that for my PC as well, but they didn't have any in stock, so that's fucking awesome. This is the Skullcandy Crushers. 
And these are my new favourite things. Let's open these up, right? So you've got that really cool text, and the presentation experience on these is just oh, oh, fantastic. Here's all the things that you need to know, right? Connects to Bluetooth in five seconds, right? Cross your wireless, it, you know, it's got volume and stuff, and then it's got adjustive sensitivity, right? Nobody cares. These boxes are awesome because they sit there and they're branded, man. Do you know how cool that is? What is in here? What did I, oh, I just ripped it. Whoopsies. Right, hang on. Let's put this back. Uh, that goes there. I don't care what that is. I think that's a cloth. You get a bag. You get a bag. A bag that looks like a do-rag. Ignore that. And it has a skull candy logo on it. And it has like loads of little pouches and baggy stuff and cool stuff like that. We're not interested in the stuff that comes in the box because that's not the main product. But it is a cool box. The important part. The headphones. Oh, Beats by Dre. Did you see that? Look, look. Do you see this? It doesn't completely fold up. So it doesn't crush the ear cups. And these aren't memory foam, so they just bounce back. These, you can... If you shake these, you can feel the rumble motors. <laughs> if I... When you do something like that, you can feel it go doing, doing. The rumble motors are just having some fun. This is your base slider, right? Let me get up and show you. Look, these, this, this is your base slider. That's minimum. That is maximum. Minimum, maximum, and that is how you die. Death by Skull Candy is something that should be in every leaderboard in every game ever because that's what these will do. I tried playing Warzone with these. Oh, Jesus, fuck me. Someone shot a gun and I felt like I got shot. I felt like I got shot. Callum, Callum, if you're watching this video, you're an asshole. He's sitting next to me, and I goes, yeah, man, I've just got these new headphones on. So these are on my head. He goes, oh, yeah, what, what's these special features? Because he knows I review stuff like that. And he goes, oh, yeah, bro, these are sick, man. So I'm, I'm telling him about them, going, yeah, they have, like, a rumble thing. So any loud noises or bangs or anything low frequency really, really sounds realistic. He goes, oh, yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I near fell off my fucking teeth, mate. It's not funny. Callum, you're an arse. But these... For music, are the best things ever. They're very comfortable. Look at the size of the ear pads on these. That is depth and girth. It has a lot of depth and girth. And it is clearly marked left and right, which is something I like, because headphones can be confusing. If you just need, want to know how to put these on, the wires that point this way go on the back of your head. So you put these on like this. Okay. Volume. Very, very clicky buttons, which is good. But they're not clicky, they feel cheap. They feel well done. But they are very tactile, so you know when you've pressed it. Button in the middle. That is how you turn the thing on, I'm pretty sure. So if I hold this, get a little pink LED to let you know it's on, and then a red flashing one to let you know your battery's low because I haven't charged these in ages. And then you hold it again, turn it off. Because we're not using these right now. I've done my review on these. Well, I'm doing it now, but I've heard them. They sound good. They sound great. I love them. When I'm chilling out, laying in bed at night, I just want to listen to some music. I don't grab my Sivga Phoenixes, and I don't grab my Harmonic Don Zeus's. One, because the Phoenixes live here, and the Sivga, or the, the Sivgas live here, and the Phoenixes live down there. And when I'm asleep, I'm asleep there. Ignore this mess. These are the things I just reviewed. When I have my head on my Heavy H Reviews pillow, I want to just grab a pair of headphones and listen, which is why I have them right above my head. Usually the skull candies live where the AKGs are. They're fucking cool. <laughs> they are cool. They are awesome. They are what I use. They are what I need. When you don't want bass, turn the slider all the way down. They're a normal set of headphones. When you want that concert hall feeling, it's this simple. And you're at a concert. These are the isolation headphones, man. Not that they isolate you, but you can't go to concerts in isolation or lockdown or whatever the fuck we're calling it these days. Hell. You don't need to. You have these. <laughs> Why would you need to leave your house if you could bring the concert to you? That's exactly what these do. There could not have been a better time for these lot to drop these headphones. And they also, because they're very clever, have a little dent here so you can hang them on things without it damaging them. Clever! Why don't more people do this? And this is rubberized and it feels really nice. 
the wire here is very thick very very good wire right here is the 990s these are a very similar design right and i say similar as in the headphones and they have wires that connect the cups right this is what i mean look at these wires these are about 130 quid these are not cheap headphones look at the wire size right compared to the wire size on these the wire is coated way thicker and is way way more robust and i think that's awesome and the reason these have coated wires and stuff like that and they go outside is because of the mechanism they have so that's part of the reason these are awesome and part of the reason they have coated wires so this is exactly the same as in when it's at full extension that wire isn't taut but it is shorter when you do that you've got a lot more slack so that's why they do it and that's also why they angle them a certain way so don't you know if your brother wants to be a little shithead he can just cut those and fuck your whole day up but these are awesome headphones and they have a microphone so if you're out and taking calls in public and the microphone isn't terrible believe it or not it doesn't suck ass much it is still a headset microphone so it sucks but not as much as you think <laughs> now the awesome part about these headphones is well they're just awesome I don't know what more you want from me they, these are, are fantastic do I recommend them? yes if your budget if your budget is 75 quid which is what these cost if you was to buy them like at full price i got them an offer because i didn't realize how good they were i would have paid 75 quid could you use these as normal headphones if you don't want the bass feature absolutely yes you could but who doesn't like a little bit more bass when they're listening to their favorite band or their favorite rappers or their favorite artists or whatever whoever you like listening to whether it's rock whether it's the Bee Gees, whoever the fuck listens to the Bee Gees, whoever it is you, you listen to, these are a fun experience. They are fun. They're not audiophile headphones. They are not the cleanest, crispest thing on the planet, but they are fun. Don't take them seriously. They don't take themselves seriously. That's why they gave you a fucking bass slidey knob. How cool is that? That's all you need from me, guys. That is it. Well, you don't, I don't need to say anything else. These headphones sell themselves. If you want to look up other reviews, I highly recommend it. Because people go way more into depth than I do. This is just me giving you my opinion on what I think is good and what isn't. I recommend these. You should have a pair. Even though you might not use them. Someone else around you might and they might love them. Thank you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. We are very, very close at the time of me recording this to 100 subscribers. I never thought that day would come. I used to make these videos for myself and then I realised there was an audience for it. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you next time.